Hi, Year 5. Welcome to your geography lesson this afternoon. Here is your do now activity. If you haven't had a go already, you can pause it now. I'll just read it to you first, actually. So here's your story starter. That looks like railway tracks. It's beautifully um, evergreen. It's got lots of beautiful leaves. It looks very rich and luscious. So motionless, she stood gazing down the never ending tunnel. The track extended as far as the eye could see, encased by walls of brightest green. The trees that lined the way grew tall, reaching up and over, interlocking their spindly branches like fingers tapping whoever dared to, oh, trapping whoever dared to walk this treacherous route. It was like looking down nature's kaleidoscope. Where did the path lead? She had dreamt of this moment, but in her dream, she, had ne she couldn't remember what happened next. There was only one way to find out. She bravely took a step forward. Okay, spindly branches like fingers is an example of a simile. Can you think of other similes to describe trees in this tunnel? There's your two examples. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so we've been talking about mindfulness a lot. This is um this isn't a video. This was about grounding. Um, so I've been doing this a little bit in class anyway. Grounding is when we feel anxious and we feel knots in our tummies, our shoulders hunch up, and we experience a feeling of butterflies. It affects our concentration and it's harder con con to control negative thoughts that whiz through our brains. When we feel like this, a technique called grounding can help. So you can have a go with me now if you want to. You just need to do some big deep breathing. Calm us down. Grounding. Boys and girls in class. Remember, we did it on the field um, day before yesterday. Yesterday. Um, you need to find something in your surroundings. You need to find something you can see, find something you can hear, find something you can touch, and find something you can smell. By focusing on the present moment, it, using your four senses, it grounds you, it calms you down, and it's a really good re relaxation, relaxation technique. Okay, so pause the video now and have a go. Here are your math results. Oh, results. Um, here are your math answers. Um, I'm going to leave them on the screen. I'm not going to read them. You can just pause the video and go through them. Right, geography. Can I describe a biome and its physical features in detail? Um, what is a biome? Why is that different to climate and weather? And what's a physical feature? We're going to be talking about those things in detail today. So it is a geography lesson because we are studying people and places and the interaction between them. So people that uh, we live all together on this planet, how do we interact? How do we uh, make choices with the weather and the climate? Where do we live on this planet is a good place to start. Pause the video now, once again. See, we did this last week, see if you can do it quicker. You've got Iceland, Ireland, England, Portugal, Spain, France, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Germany, Sweden, Poland, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. See if you can find them on our map. Hopefully you got them all right. You may have got a couple extra that we talked about last week. I said that I really like the sound of Belarus. You might remember Lithuania. Um, we've got Serbia down here, Bulgaria. So we're expanding our knowledge of countries in Europe here. Okay, I'm going to take my video off now, so I don't distract you. Here we go, starters, true or false. If I look out the window and see the weather, this represents the climate of that place. True or false? Have a think. Pause if you need to. So it is uh, true. Oh, false, because it says it is the weather here. The weather outside represents the climate. Only the climate is a average of the whole year okay so the daily weather is not an accurate representation of the climate so we've got we get quite mild in mild weather in England if we look out the window and there was a there's that snowstorm we had recently that is not our climate okay our, our climate is normally very mild we get um colder winters warmer summer, summers and rain or false you can actually see the equator running through a country have a little think. False. It's on a map, but it's not an actual line that goes around the Earth. So, countries near the equator can never have cold weather. True or false? This might need a little bit of a discussion. Pause if you need to. 
It is false. So the equator causes um, the countries to have a hotter climate. Okay, climate is that we the wet weather over a year. Weather, day to day weather, you can have cold. You can can be cold. So countries near the equator can have um, cold. So for example, as well, you've got places like um, the Himalayas in India. Okay, the weather can be cold there because it's a mountain range. True or false, climate is the average temperature of a place or area. That is true because the average temperature is used at, is used over a, a longer period of time. Okay. And last but not least, a biome and climate are the same thing. Pause the video now and have a discussion. They are not the same thing. So a biome is related to more than just the climate. It's talking about the plants and the wildlife, the ecosystems within it. And this is affected by the climate. So you won't get a snow fox, for example, who, which lives in Antarctica, has its white fur, it's got quite thick fur. You probably won't see one of those in uh, somewhere like Egypt, okay? It's not part of the biome. So, weather. Oh, that wrong button. Oh dear. Where's it gone? There it is. Weather is the state of the atmosphere at a particular place and time as regards to heat, cloudiness, dryness, sunshine, wind, and rain. Okay, so if you turn the weatherman on or the weather woman, whoever it might be, and they're talking about the weather, um, they're quite so it's windy today with a slight chance of rain uh, or London's looking sunny. There's cloudiness in Scotland. They're talking about the daily state of the atmosphere on that day, okay, or that week, okay, a short period of time. Climate is the long-term prevalent weather conditions of an area. So that's like a constant weather condition. It happens a lot. It's determined by the latitude position relative to the oceans or continents and the altitude. So you can see the latitude on a globe. Um, and it's very, yeah, so if you're, close to the, if you're close to the ocean, quite often you'll have a different climate. So for example, I've told you before, I'm from Plymouth. We don't really get snow. This is taken on a small scale because it is part of the UK, but we don't get as much snow as the North because of the, we're, we're closer to the ocean. Um, and then it, continents, remember, continents include um, our countries within a continent. Okay, so a continent is like North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa, Asia, and um, Australasia, which is also called Oceania. So remember, not countries here. So a biome, a biome is an area of our planet with similar climates, landscapes, animals, and plants. So they're all connected. So I'm gonna show you this video now. I'm gonna stop my share and I'm gonna put on this video. I'm just gonna hope that it works. Oh, where's it gone? Let me try again. So have a little think as I'm pressing um, share. What's in our biome where we live? How is that different to other biomes? Right, here we go. Whilst on my travels, I've picked up a stowaway. He's a baboon. But he's not happy. You see, I think he climbed on board when we were in a hot, dry place near the equator. But now we're near the Arctic Circle in Alaska. He's not adapted for living here. It's too cold and there's no food he can eat. It's not just that he's far from home. It's that we're in a totally different biome. Biomes are areas of the planet with a similar climate and landscape where similar animals and plants live. Some of the world's main biomes include rainforest, desert, savanna, grassland, woodland, and tundra. Each biome has characteristics that make it unique. For example, Alaska is a type of tundra. The animals and plants have to be really tough to survive the freezing conditions. Deserts are dry 
and usually hot, with very few animals and vegetation. And a savanna is a grassland that is hot and dry, with a few trees. And this is where I think our friend is meant to be. After all of that monkeying around, I can finally get back to my travels. <sighs> okay, I'm going to put the screen back on now. Um, here it is. So that should have made biomes and climates and weather a little bit clearer. Remember, a biome is the climate, landscape, animals and plants all together. Okay, so it's what can live there um, comfortably. We've got um, our young friend. I looked out my window today and saw snow. So therefore, the biome of the place that I live in is a tundra. Have a little think, have a little discussion now. Pause the video. Is she correct? Okay, so it is probably not a tundra. I can see here it says label on lakes as well. And I know that we don't live in a tundra. The tundra is very, very cold. Um, I mentioned this last week when I was talking about the top of Canada and Russia. It's very, very, very cold all the time. Um, so even that they have kind of have milder summers in some parts of Canada, but in the winter, it's very cold. So we looked at our biomes last week. We can see here we've got the desert in the middle by the equator. OK, and then you've got the savanna here coming away from the equator. Oops. Moving up to the rainforest and this really cold bit up here. This is part of Russia and Canada and Alaska. This is the tundra where it's very cold, big sheets of ice. Um, and then it moves into just ice. So your task today is to research a biome and you can do this in groups, in class, boys and girls at home. Um, you can do this independently if you would like. And you're gonna find out as much information as you possibly can. Um, we've got some information sheets, but you can use BBC Bite Size and find the key points and, and write these down in your books. I also don't mind if you want to make a poster, but I just want to make sure that you include lots of key information. So it's need to have plenty of writing involved in your neatest handwriting. You need to have subheadings. So you need to have location. So where in the world is it? What's the daily weather like? What's the climate like? And what plants and animals live there? Um, and then you can present this to the class uh, maybe next week when we start our, les our lessons all together. So you need to choose, I'm not going to put you in groups for this, you can choose, um, you can do a deciduous forest, a deciduous tree um, is like an oak tree, okay, a deciduous forest is where the trees drop their leaves, a desert, remember 1S, we're not talking about dessert, a desert, the rainforest, um, Kega, I think that's pronounced, Kega, um, tropical savanna, and tundra, okay. So we're going to present these to each other so we can all share our learning. So you can pick one now. Um, you do have this fact sheet um, in your packs that you can use to write your notes. Um, we'll do that next time because we need to research the project first. Okay, so, and then your exit ticket here. This is on your sheet. Why do countries have different biomes? Why is the biome, what is the biome like in a rainforest? How is Tiago climate different to a savanna? I would like you to do your independent research and we're going to present these all together next week. Okay. Um, enjoy your geography lesson, do lots of research, find out as much as you can. And I look forward to seeing you on Monday.